Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video we're going to be messing with my hair once again. Shocker, I know, surprise, surprise. So basically I told you guys I am bleaching my hair next week and I still have a lot of this like turquoise, teal, yellow situation going on underneath here. And I already tried covering it with like charcoal, Mm, wasn't the best idea. So today's either gonna be a win or a fail. <laughs> I, I honestly couldn't tell you which it's gonna be, but you already know by the time this is posted. So today we're gonna try canceling out the colors that are in my hair. I'm gonna be using these Shrine Tone It Drops. I have the shade Peach here. So basically these drops, you can make it like as light or as dark as you want, depending on how many drops you put into conditioner. I just have some conditioner here. We're going to add the drops to. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. I have used Shrine toning drops in the past, but I've never used the colored ones. I've only used the toning drops that they offer. So this is my first time using actual colored drops. So I'm, I'm honestly very scared. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I am shivering in my boots. What's that saying? Quaking in my boots? I don't know what the saying is. Let me know down below, but I am scared because this can go very badly. It can not cover up the blue. I can make it not dark enough to cover up the blue. I can have calico hair with orange, yellow, blue, different spots. So we're just gonna have to wait and see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna read the back of this bottle. It says how to use, fill a bowl with any conditioner to the measuring line, add desired amount of drops to the conditioner using the recommended drop chart. Using the brush, mix the drops and conditioner together. Now it's ready to apply. Using gloves, apply the mixed conditioner evenly to towel dried hair. Leave in 10 minutes, rinse and dry. Very simple, very easy. Here is the uh, chart that shows you how many drops and what result comes from using that many drops. I am worried because I don't know how many drops it's gonna take to cancel out this aqua e minty blue situation. I need to try and match the depth so that way it cancels the blue out. I know it's probably gonna be a little bit patchy because I have some darker blue. I have some more aqua pieces. Under here, I have some like yellow. So I know it's probably not gonna be super even and I might have a little bit of orange, but my goal is to just cancel out the blue so that way eventually it fades back to blonde instead of just continuously getting to a lighter blue. Like I don't think this blue is gonna leave on its own. Blue just stains the hair so bad. All right, so let's go ahead and go in with these drops. These drops are like a reddish orange. So that's gonna help me with my greenish blue hair. I'm gonna go ahead and add some drops in here. One, two, I'm gonna start with three drops, I guess. I'm gonna mix this up and see what it looks like and see if we need to add more. Here's the orange I have. It's kind of like a sherbet. I don't think this is dark enough to cancel out some of these tones. So I'm gonna go in and add two more drops. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two. It's kind of gooey. That's how much we're adding in there. Let's mix that up. Okay, I think this is good. I think I should probably stop here. I don't wanna get too gung-ho. I'm just worried it's not gonna be dark enough. I think I might do a little test strand and kind of see if it cancels out the color. So here's what it looks like now. It looks like a nice orange. I'm just gonna take a little bit on my finger and maybe take a little section here and kind of see what happens. Okay, yeah, see, this is like definitely not dark enough. That literally did nothing, like absolutely nothing. We need to add a shit ton more to this mixture because I think I need to like double the amount I just did. That's how much more we're adding. Here's what it looks like now. Let's try this on a piece and see if it cancels anything out. I knew I was gonna have to make it like pretty orange to try and cancel this out. I guess I just didn't realize how orange I was gonna have to make it. Okay, so now I definitely see it starting to do something. Here it is on that strand compared to the one we just tried. It is canceling it out. I think this is good. Honestly, I think this is good. I think I'm just gonna add maybe one more drop. This is scary, you guys. <laughs> I'm scared for my life. Literally one drop. I love these shrine toning drops. They work really well and you can customize so many different shades and I feel like it's just much more cost effective than buying like tubes of color. Okay, this is our finished result. I'm not gonna go any darker than this. I feel like this is good. I don't wanna like F my hair up too bad. And this is looking pretty good. Like I'll be happy with it looking like this. Like if this is the end result right here, this little strand, I'll be happy just to tone down the blue. 
I'd rather it just be like toned than like super bright orange underneath here. So we're gonna go ahead and start applying. I am gonna have to section off my hair because obviously the top is like a blondish blue and underneath here is where it's very aqua. My plan is to apply this mixture all over underneath where it's like super blue. And then we're gonna go in with more conditioner and dilute this even more. And in the last like five minutes, I'm just gonna work it all over in my hair. So that way this top section that does have a bluish hint will be canceled out, but I'm gonna add a bunch of conditioner into the bowl after we apply it to the bottom before I put it on the top of my head. I just don't want to accidentally dye the top of my head orange. Not what we're going for here. Okay, got it sectioned out for the most part. I really tried to avoid the blondish pieces. Um, so hopefully I did a good job. I feel like we are gonna wind up with 101 different colors, but that's okay. It's fine, we're just gonna go for it. I should probably wear gloves because this is kind of a pigmented orange. Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go in for it, you guys. I'm a little nervous. Just gonna start here. All right, I'm just gonna work this into the hair. We're gonna see really quickly uh, if this is gonna help cancel out the color or not. Oh, I can't tell you guys how nervous I am about this. I don't know if I've ever done something quite like this before. <laughs> oh gosh, I already see like brown muddiness coming through. Let's get these bangs up in here, should we? There are just so many different like tones of blue in my hair that I'm nervous about. Um, there's like super blue pieces. There's like yellow pieces. There's aqua pieces. I'm just like, I don't know if this is gonna work, you guys. How's it looking, you guys? I feel like the longer it sits, the better it'll take in my hair. So I had a blondish piece right here and that has already taken like orange. So I know it's gonna work at canceling out the more blonde areas, but these areas that just have so much blue left in them, uh, I'm not too sure if that's gonna work well. It does look like it's canceling some of that blue out. So hopefully it'll cancel out enough of that blue. And then over the next week, I can just shampoo my hair with dandruff shampoo and hot water and it will gradually fade out to like a beigey blonde. That's what I'm going for. I'm hoping that if this is orange or brown or whatever, that over the next week before I bleach my roots, that I can like fade it enough to be like a beige blonde instead of like orange or blue. And maybe putting this copper in my hair will help blend the roots a little bit because Right now, my roots are some hot ass roots and they're not cute, not cute at all. So maybe this will uh, help blend them in. And I just ran out of color. So now I have to try and match this color. Okay, I feel like I got a pretty similar color here. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep applying. Gotta make sure and really saturate this if I want the color to be canceled out because right now uh, it's not looking too good if I'm being honest with you. <laughs> it's looking like a hot mess. You guys, somebody better be uh, sending good vibes for this to work. I feel like I keep doing things and it's making everything worse. <laughs> Send help. And I am of course, like always, flinging color absolutely everywhere. Okay, I see where it's canceling out some of the areas, but it's not canceling out other areas. It's a little concerning for me. I don't wanna add any more orange dye. I feel like that would be a huge mistake. I think I should just focus on working in the dye that I have. I definitely have everything saturated. <laughs> Do you guys see what I'm going through right now? It literally looks like I have copper and blue highlights in my hair. Oh goodness gracious me oh my. What in the hell have I done? I'm just trying to work this into my hair the best I possibly can to give it the best possible chance of working. Let me wipe all this color off. All that extra conditioner, let's get that off of there and let's reapply new color. Okay, that seemed to work more. I'm trying to scrape off some of the color, like the conditioner left over on the hair and put this on top. Seems like that's working pretty good. Okay, this area right here is saturated really good. I think I need to focus on the other side a little bit more. I just pull all that extra conditioner off my hair, wipe it on a towel that's on my lap. Then I pick up more um, dye that has more of that orange in it and then just put it on top here. It seems to help cancel out some more of that blue if I put like fresh orange pigment on top. We gotta work on this side a little bit, I think. And you guessed it, I'm out of dye again. So let me go ahead and mix up some more. Scrape it off. 
Oh my goodness, this is, <laughs> this is awful. This is really, really bad. Oh, this might be the worst fail I've ever done. You know what, I'm kind of at the point where it's like, it is what it is. Now we move on to the top and honestly, it's looking like a swamp, but that's what it's supposed to do. When you cancel out colors, it's gonna turn neutral like a swamp. So I'm just gonna take a second really work this in my hair. Just send super positive, amazing vibes. Think positive thoughts. Do you guys wanna know something? Let me tell you how today's going. Before I started filming, I was getting set up. I bent down to pick something up. I smacked my head on the wall. Not only did I just like smack my head, I like smacked my head on the way down. So like I smacked my head and my head slid on the wall. There's a nice foundation mark on the wall. That's how hard I scraped my head on the wall. I'm gonna mix up a new formulation for the top of my hair because it needs to be a lot lighter. So let me mix that up and I'll show you what I come up with. Okay, I feel like that's a good color. I don't wanna go too dark with the top. So I'm just gonna leave it at this. Should I test it? Maybe I should do a little tester spot here. Yeah, I feel like that's good. That's a good color combo right there. All right, let's go in, shall we? Hopefully I mixed up enough color this time. I can definitely already see my hair changing color. Oh my goodness. I am pretty freaking nervous about this, you guys. I am so scared that I'm making a huge mistake. Honestly, at this point, I think I'd rather just have copper hair than to have some crazy different hair color. Man, this month has been full of hair fails. That's what it's been full of. Okay, well that side's saturated. Let's do this side and then I'll do the same thing I did for the top for the bottom, which is like scrape off the extra conditioner and then resaturate it with a pigmented dye. Putting the copper underneath here definitely made me realize how minty the top of my hair was. When I had like that brighter blue on the bottom, you couldn't really see like the top of my head was like a mintyish color, but then putting orange underneath, you really can see that the top of my head had quite a bit of a blue cast to it. All right, I'm gonna touch up this top section and let this process like 20 minutes and I will be right back to show you the finished result, which is probably gonna be very sad. I'm sorry, you guys really aren't ready for this. This is gonna be the craziest reveal on my whole entire channel, okay? Look at this. Um, <laughs> how did I do this? How did I do this? I'm flabbergasted. I literally cannot believe the end results. You guys, my hair looks incredible. Like. I actually love the color. It's like a strawberry -y blonde. It's gorgeous, you guys. Look at this color. Look at this color. <laughs> From where we started, and you wanna know the best part of this color? The best part, can you tell where my roots are? You can't. This color blends my roots in perfectly. It looks like I just got my hair done. That's how I feel. If I wanted to, I could wait even longer to bleach my roots because this color masks my roots so perfectly. Don't get me wrong, there are some imperfections. There's still like the tiniest bit of like a greenish hue, like right here in this area, but barely. You guys, look how good this is. Underneath here is pretty good and pretty even. Like, I am so impressed and I did a very, very good job at color correcting and mixing up the right tone to cover the blue and the right tone to cover this top minty color. Like I could not have asked for a better outcome. This is absolutely amazing. My hair also feels super soft, super shiny because when you use a shine drops, it's like a built-in deep conditioner because obviously you're just putting the dye in conditioner. So you get like a treatment while you're dyeing your hair. So my hair feels super, super soft. And I feel like this is exactly what I needed. So I'm just gonna work on fading this out naturally in the shower for the next like week, week and a half until it's time to bleach my roots. Um, yeah, I'm, I, I like, is there anything to say? I'll show you the back. Like what? Here's a side, okay? Look how gorgeous. She's beautiful. Here's what the back looks like. Let me know what it looks like back there. Does it look good? Cause it looks good from the sides. So hopefully it looks as good from the back as it does 
from the sides. I have never had a hair color quite like this. Like this is such a unique, gorgeous shade that I've never done intentionally on my own. And I'm honestly so happy that I have this color. <laughs> it looks so, I just can't stop looking in the mirror because I just think it looks so gorgeous. And it like matches my skin tone really well. Like the hair color is almost like the same tonality as my skin. So I just feel like it all goes together really well. I don't feel stressed out about my roots anymore. Like, are you kidding me? I, I just can't believe I did this. I really cannot believe I did this. Thank you guys for coming along the journey with me. I will leave a link to those shrine drops in the description down below in case you guys want to try them because they work amazing and they have so many different colors and I definitely wanna purchase more of those colors now. I can't get over how even this is. Like when the color was on, it looked like it was gonna be so freaking patchy and then I rinsed it and it's somehow magically even. Like I don't have blue streaks or copper streaks in my hair. The top and the bottom blend together. Like I now have one uniform hair color. My roots blend in with the top and my top blends in with the bottom and it's all finally even. I should have skipped doing the charcoal and silver and went straight to this color. That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye. Hi.